This is Dewey. Dewey read more books to be specific. He's tamed the library patrons of Spencer with a personality that spans the gap from Buddha to Superman. He's good at it. Every day at the Spencer Library, Dewey entertains his public, pulling from his bag of unusual cat tricks. He greets Vicky every morning with a friendly wave. I go in and out of these. He likes to help shelve books here. by lying on the cart. Find a spot where he wants to hide in the books, and then that's yeah, where he goes. Himself. And this is his favorite cart, because he can adjust his seating perfectly. You get comfy. He loves to sleep in boxes. The smaller the box, the better. He also climbs ladders and plays games. Got to throw it. He's sort of got the hang of hide and seek. He's silly, and he thinks he's hidden. <laughs> he's so entertaining, being a library cat and all, that some people have even written about him in their books. He is a chapter in two books, so if we type in Dewey Read More, there's a book called Serendipity Stories of Cats and Their People. And there's a drawing of Dewey laying on my shoulder. With Vicky. Yes. Animals that try to bite an armored body might end up breaking their teeth. He's very warm and he loves everybody. That dinosaur was a Tyrannosaurus. He really, really likes babies. They'll grab his fur and he won't move. There's a lot of senior citizens that come in who can't have pets in their apartment. You happy here, Dewey? Yeah, you're a good kitty. A lovable dog we could understand, but cats? This I had to see for myself. Yeah, he's adjusting. I think he's purring. Well, we came in on a Monday morning and we could hear a small sound, but we couldn't identify it or where it was coming from, and we opened the book drop. And not only was it full of books, but this little tiny kitten was in there. Um, he was dirty and wet, and his foot pads were frozen and were falling off. Um, and he, you could tell he was starving. Um, so we took him out of there and we gave him a warm bath, more to bring him back to life than anything else. And he purred during the entire bath. And we knew that he was just such a little character with great personality. Here we go. So that's when we decided to ask the city council and the library board if we could keep him as a library cat. Don't ever forget or let humans forget that you own the joint. <laughs>